Hey guys, what is up? My name is Mpo and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes of Blender. Today I'll be showing you how to create a cinematic car shots inside Blender. So let's have a look at this. What I have here is just a basic um, scene of a car and a floor which I just made. This is really easy to make. Um, can use any model from Turbo Squared, Blend Swap or so on. Um, so what I want to do here first is add in a light source. Of course, I'm going to add in an area lamp. And what I want to do is I want to capture the details, um, the most important details first. So um, to me right now, this is the front of the car. So I'll just increase the, the size of this light source and put it in front of the car, just like that. And I am going to split the screens just so I can see what I'm doing. And in front mode, I'm going to position everything just so it looks um, proper. And I'm going to also enable the floor and we'll have a look how this is going so far. Um, I think it's a bit too dark, so I'm going to increase that to 500. And if you can see, it does look a bit better, but I need to, I think, just rotate this a bit to capture it at a different angle. I think this should be fine. Um, yes, this is all up to you. You can, <laughs> I'm not gonna be too finicky about this, but I think this is okay. And then, all right, the next thing is to add in a rim light. This is to separate it from the background. Um, you, you see that in photography, this is very standard in filming photography and so on. Um, this just highlights the, the edges of the car and it separates it from the background and I think it, it just makes it look much more appealing and if you have a look at that there's that highlight which I was looking for all right now the next thing is the um, the reflections I want to add some reflections on the side if you have a look at the car right now it does look a bit plain so some of those reflections will help benefits and just give some interest to the car. As you can see, we get those nice reflections over there. All right, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna decrease that to 100. And the next thing I wanna do is add in some soft overhead lighting. This is probably something that you'll see a lot in photography and cinematography. Um, you see it in Avengers and, you know, most of these Hollywood budget movies so what i'm going to replace uh, replicate here is um these sort of panel soft panel lights which are i think fluorescent lights i'm not sure um so i'm just gonna make something skinny like this and i'm gonna duplicate a bunch of them i th think about four in a row should be all right so i'm just gonna keep duplicating and what I want to do is four, I want four up top and then across I want um, five of those like this and I'll just rotate that like so. All right, so what I want to do next is I want to play with some color. Um, so as you can see here, I will add some blue colors on to a few of these and set the power to a hundred. Um, so just pay attention to color. If you are away like of color theory, I think it will benefit you a lot. Um, so yeah, as you know, complementary colors is complementary. Blue and red, um, they play quite well together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding some blue and red onto some of these um, panel lights, panel lights. Just move that up a bit. All right, so now let's have a look. Ooh, I think you'd agree with me in saying that it does look so much better now. Um, you can see our rim lights is playing well and our key lights as well, which is in front of the car. So now I'll just duplicate that and I'll add a bit of lights to the background just so it's not 
black entirely black just to give it some some more interest so i'll just position that um find a good angle and so you can see it's in your camera view um just keep moving it so just grab that and i will place it like that and i think i'm also going to increase the strength to a thousand so now i think you can see what i'm going for you can see that sort of light over there which is getting caught by the background and that is it guys um this is blender in five minutes make sure to like subscribe um, comments and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss some more content which is coming up in the future